guys you welcome to my channel my name is pamela and this is pamela world in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i beaded this dress so this dress actually came beaded but i felt it was a little under beaded so i got glue this is b7000 which is the transparent one and i got these beads from aliexpress and i had my tailor's chalk so i started by marking out the places where I wanted to put the beads and I wanted them in order so I used a ruler and the chalk to mark the specific point where I'll be putting the beads. After that was done, I moved on to pick up the beads. I'm using rhinestone beads and I got them from Aliexpress. I'll leave the link in my description box in case you want to purchase them. I got the glue from Aliexpress as well. So I started putting the beads on the specific dots or points I had made and that was about it for me. It took me about an hour and a half to finish this dress because it's my first time beading and I wanted to do it perfectly because this was my graduation dress and I didn't want any mistake for the pictures, you know. <laughs> I ironed the dress the day before beading and I recommend you iron on the same day or put it in a spot where no one will touch it or it will not crumple. That way you are sure that when you are done beading your dress is intact and you can wear it just as it is. I chose to do this on a Sunday because Sundays are usually my rest days and I feel super comfortable doing such things on Sundays. So this is the fashion designer for today. Her name is Mrs. Doris Beckham. <laughs> you ready, I'm Christ. my apprentice. <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is the work she has given me to do. I'm you are to beat everything. You are the boss. Lady boss. <laughs> My boss says I'm the boss. Lady boss. Yeah, I'm very shy. If your boss is calling you boss, then. Yeah. Lady boss. If it's your first time beating, I'll recommend you make the dots. That way you're sure you're going to get the exact thing you're looking for. And I chose the pattern myself. I chose to put the red rhinestone beads on the yellow patch of the dress and put the yellow rhinestone beads on the red part of the dress. That's the pattern I chose. <laughs> you can choose any pattern based on your own preference if you're a beginner. So I'm sure by now you know that Japan is a DIY country. You do it yourself. So I had to beat this dress myself. Whilst in Ghana, I would have gotten someone to do it for me at a fee. But in Japan, I'm my own seamstress. Yes, and that's one thing I really like about Japan that it has taught me that I can do so many things on my own for myself and be independent. Yes, because Japanese are very independent people. So this is the progress I've made so far. I finished up the last two sections and I was good to go. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.